Are you struggling to get your local business seen on Google? Do you want to boost your local search rankings and attract more nearby customers? Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for tech meets clarity. In today's video, we will show you exactly how to use Bright Local, one of the most powerful local SEO tools out there to help your business shine online. From tracking your local rankings, managing citations, to running audits, and generating powerful white label reports, Bright Local makes local SEO easier and more effective. Whether you're a small business owner, a digital marketer, or part of an SEO agency, this video will walk you through everything you need to know, even if you are brand new to local SEO. So make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and let's dive into how you can grow your local visibility with Bright Local. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Bright Local. On the top corner, you have multiple options. You have the About Us option, Academy, Contact Support, Help Center, and Login using your credentials. But of course, the best option is to click the Start Free Trial here on the top right corner or this button. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. It's very easy. All I have to do is provide all the information needed so you can access the Bright Local free for 14 days. Absolutely at no cost. Limited access, no credit card required. If you do, you will be forwarded to the main homepage of the Bright Local. And as you can see, right now by default, if you're using the free account, you have 10 tasks left. And of course, 12 days left on your free trial, right? So we're going to go to the trial tasks. The trial tasks is going to be the checklist of tasks you need to complete during your free trial to explore the Bright Locals feature, right? Helping new users like you to get a feel for how their tools work and how they can benefit your local SEO efforts. Now, the first is you need to add a location that's a starter. Add a location right here. I'm going to click on it and then you will be forwarded to this section. Now, you will be asked on how many locations do you want to add. Is it one location or two or more? I'm going to click the one location. Now, if your location does have a physical address, click on yes. But since we're using virtual, since we are a YouTube channel, we're not going to do with that. So from here, you need to find a Google business profile for your location. Please select one of the below options. You can connect your Google business profile, which is recommended if you have a physical store. But if you don't have admin rights, you might want to enter Google Maps URL. But this business doesn't have a Google business profile listing, which is our thing. So we're going to click this instead. All right. Then click on the next button on the bottom left corner. Bottom right corner, I'm sorry. You need to provide all of the information needed so you can start. Otherwise, if you don't have it, just click on next. But before you can go next, you need to provide all the information. If you don't have it right now, we're going to go back to the main homepage. We're going to explore the all locations tab on the top corner. This shows the dashboard all of the businesses or client locations you're managing, right? For example, the sample, you have the legacy dental for Fort Wayne, um, Florida. You can quickly access each location's reports, tools, and performance metric. If you want to add location, you can do that. Remember earlier, we have done that. If you don't, you can skip this section. Now with this right here, you can, have, you can buy runs if you want or download the location data depending on your preferences. If you want to get the uh, data for historical records, it's a very easy thing to do, right? Again, if you add the location, you will be forwarded to a new page, which is going to be the same section earlier. I'm going to cancel this and go back because I'm going to discuss the local SEO tools. From here, you have so many options. You have the local rank tracker. It tracks keyword rankings for a business in Google search, Google Maps and Bing across multiple locations and devices. Now, how do we do it? First, you need to add a new report, right? So you have a rank tracker. Rank Tracker Rollup reports a local search grid. You need to add a new report right here. Report name is going to be 
and you select how often do you want to report rep, uh, run this report ad hoc you know sometimes um reports manually or weekly now which day of the week you want to report that say for example monday or thursday i guess and select white label profile all right so yeah, that from here all i have to do now is click the add a report it's a very easy thing to do and then after that is going to be the local search grid it is a visual heat map showing how business ranks for a keyword across a specific geographic area it's great for hyper local seo insights like knowing if you rank number one within a one mile radius or only on a certain blocks right now the uh, citation tracker finds and monitors online business listings for example citations you can duplicate or miss listings and compare your citations to competitors here it's very easy and then there is going to be the gpp audit which is going to be the google business profile audit it analyzes completeness accuracy and optimization of your google business profile it checks for missing fields outdated info and how well your profile is set up for local visibility and then there is going to be the local search audit it's a full audit of business local seo performance including on-page seo gbp performance citations links and rankings which is useful for reporting and identifying seo improvement rates and then we're going to go to the free local seo tools which i like because it offers you all these all right local rank flux google review link and place id generator and a lot more for example if you want to use the google review link click on the fetch your links these tools are useful for quick tasks and diagnostics even without a paid plan all right start typing your business name and address for example on now basis. now all you have to do is fetch links and ids you will have with this information all right so you have all these very easy right next is going to be the citation builder it is a service that submits your business info on top of directories and citation sites so your paper campaign useful for building consistent and qu high quality citations across the web next is going to be the reputation manager right with this it's a dash it's a basically a dashboard showing your review performance across platform like you know google facebook yelp and a lot more displaying metrics like total reviews average rating and recent feedback and then there is going to be the gbp post scheduler it lets you schedule your google business profile like social media tools for facebook or instagram which is useful for maintaining consistent promotions updates or news in your google business profile all right and then the agency features gives us the lead generator all right now these are tools and dashboards for agency managing multiple client locations which is kind of useful because you have like um white label reporting client access control and the white label profiles give you multi-location management which is ideal for seo agencies or freelancers who manage local seo for multiple businesses right now with that being said and that's a wrap on how to use bright local it is user friendly packed with tools and ideal for local businesses or agencies that want actionable seo insights without getting overwhelmed whether you're just getting started or managing multiple locations bright local definitely packs a punch for businesses looking to boost visibility in their local market and of course it's definitely worth a try it is a smart investment for your local seo strategy now if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more how to content and drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to see another dive into any other seo tools do not forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from our channel that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you
in the next one.